I'm locked up, so I'm happy and in love, so I've got no need for Riz. I don't know. Riz is short for charisma, right? Everybody's kind of got their own. I think someone who has beautiful charisma, not on the Dune cast, but I personally worked for me, is Mr. Tom Holland, so. Zendaya and Tom Holland's relationship has had fans' senses tingling since they were first spotted locking lips in 2021. Tom and Dea keep their romance extremely private, but they do talk about each other from time to time. Most recently, Zendaya proudly gushed over her man in her Vogue cover, so now Access Hollywood is taking a look back at some of the sweet things they've said about one another over the years. I uh, gotta go. Hey, where are you going? What are you hiding, Peter? I'm just kidding, I don't care. Bye. Zendaya and Tom met when they were cast in Spider-Man Homecoming in 2016, and just like their characters in the film, their sweet friendship ultimately took a romantic turn in real life. I really like you. I really like you too. In 2021, the two were captured kissing in a car in Los Angeles, and shortly after that, the internet got to work, digging up a 2017 interview where Tom revealed Zendaya was his celebrity crush. The two didn't confirm their romance for a while, then finally addressed those paparazzi photos in November 2021 during Tom's GQ cover shoot. Quote, one of the downsides of our fame is that privacy isn't really in our control anymore, and a moment that you think is between two people that love each other very much is now a moment that is shared with the entire world," Tom told the mag, adding, I've always been really adamant to keep my private life private because I share so much of my life with the world anyway. We sort of felt robbed of our privacy. Zendaya also spoke to GQ about it, saying, quote, It was quite strange and weird and confusing and invasive. The equal sentiment we both share is just that when you really love and care about somebody, some moments or things you wish were your own. I think loving someone is a sacred thing and a special thing and something that you want to deal with and go through and experience and enjoy amongst the two people that love each other. Fast forward a month and all eyes were on the two as they embarked on the Spider-Man No Way Home press tour. The pair had some fun talking to Axis Hollywood about how their on-screen relationship went from friends to lovers. We all kind of grow up in this mm. film, but the nice thing is, is that we get to do it together. I think that's what John Watts has done so well as a director, is that he's really strategically planned these three arcs to kind of grow at the same time, especially with our relationship as, yeah. you know, friends and then lovers, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Uh, it, uh, it's really beautiful and nice it's and it, and it yeah. is a really nice slow burn and I think that's why the fans have connected so well and to us as a trio because they feel like they know us. Their fun dynamic was also on full display when they joked about how their height difference made it a little tricky to shoot certain scenes in a December 2021 appearance on the Graham Norton show. Because of our height difference, I obviously, if we're on the same like point, yeah, we were I, attached. We, we were attached. I would land before him, because my feet <laughs> obviously hit the ground before he does. <laughs> so, <laughs> what would happen? <laughs> well, it's, there's like, it's called a bottom mark, isn't it? And the bottom mark is to basically, it's a thing that they do in stunts that is basically designed to stop you shattering your kneecaps. Oh, yeah. So Zendaya would land, and I'm the superhero. I'm supposed to look cool. <laughs> And she would land, and then I would sort of land like this, and my feet would swing from underneath me, and then she would catch me. Like <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be like, cut! And I'm like, oh. High difference aside, working with Zendaya was special for Tom. 
At the film's Los Angeles premiere, he talked to Axis Hollywood about his instant chemistry with Zendaya and his co-star Jacob Batalon. We're just best friends. We really are best friends. From the moment we met each other, we all really hit it off. I remember on Spider-Man 1 just becoming like the best of friends, and I think that really comes across on screen. We all love each other like family. So to be, I haven't seen them yet, but to be here with them is incredible. A few months after the Spider-Man press tour, Zendaya got busy promoting season two of Euphoria. And she told Axis Hollywood Zuri Hall that Tom supported her and the cast on set. Talking about it, uh, maybe we'll get him in the background of a shot eventually. But I uh, know he definitely he definitely came by. Listen, I needed we we all needed all the support we could get this season. Yeah. The pair then stayed pretty low key for a while, staying out of the spotlight and keeping their lips sealed when it came to talking about their love until Tom started his Crowded Room press tour in 2023. I'm locked up, so I'm happy and in love, so I've got no need for Riz. The action star made rare comments about his relationship while chatting with BuzzFeed, adorably telling the outlet he doesn't need any Riz or charisma because he's in love. I have no Riz whatsoever. I have limited Riz. My brother Paddy has ultimate Riz. I don't know, I need you to fall in love with me really for it to work. So long game, probably making a movie with each other. It definitely helps when the characters you're playing are falling in love with one another. You can sort of blur the lines a little bit. That's kind of where my Riz is at. Tom also revealed his carpentry skills may have helped Zendaya fall in love with him during his interview with Unilad. I fixed my girlfriend's door once. Really early on in our relationship, I was hanging out at her house and her door was broken. I was like, I'm gonna fix that door for you. And now we're in love. But even though Tom openly talked about Zendaya during some of his interviews, he explained to The Hollywood Reporter why the pair usually tries to keep their bond private. Quote, our relationship is something that we are incredibly protective of and we want to keep as sacred as possible. We don't think that we owe it to anyone. It's our thing and it has nothing to do with our careers. Although the actor prefers to keep his relationship close to his heart, he peeled back the curtain of his love life again during an appearance on the Smartless podcast in July 2023, telling Jason Bateman, Sean Hayes, and Will Arnett how lucky he is to have Zendaya in his life. I'm lucky that I have someone like Zendaya in my life. It's interesting being in a romantic relationship with someone that is in the same boat as you. Yeah. You know, you can share your experiences and all that sort of stuff, and, and that's worth its weight in gold. Um, yeah, for sure. Zendaya doesn't just help Tom navigate his fame, she also keeps it real with him. During a December interview with the SAG After Foundation, Tom revealed why he can always go to his girlfriend for work advice. Zendaya is probably the most honest with me, which I, I love, because you need that. Downey is very honest. Sometimes a little too honest. <laughs> and I will, I've seen Doolittle, bro. <laughs> Kid, don't bring that up. Tom isn't the only one gushing over his special someone. When Zendaya started her Dune 2 press tour, she sent some love right back. When the 27-year-old stopped by BuzzFeed to play with some adorable puppies in February, she opened up about how she loves her boyfriend's, quote, beautiful charisma. I think someone who has beautiful charisma, not on the Dune cast, but I personally worked for me, is Mr. Sean Pollard, so. Zendaya went on to explain why she thinks the actor is, quote, so charming and how their different personalities complement each other. No, definitely him in the sense that, like, I'm, I'm more shy and, like, kind of quiet, so it takes a little bit more to, like, pull me out of my shell. But he's great at just, like, talking to people and getting to know people. And, like you see him on talk shows and stuff like that. He's just naturally very good at that. Whereas for me, I've, I've definitely had to like <laughs> pull it out of me a little bit. Fast forward to April, Zendaya is continuing to publicly praise her man, telling Vogue and British Vogue for her cover story that she commends how Tom handled his rise to fame. Quote, we were both very, very young, but my career was already kind of going and his changed overnight. One day you're a kid and you're at the pub with your friends and then the next day you're Spider-Man. I definitely watched his life kind of change in front of him, but he handled it really beautiful. Although the couple have been together for several years now, she admits it has become difficult to go under the radar with Tom. But she isn't letting the attention stop them from trying to have a normal life. While talking to the outlet, she recalled deciding to visit the Louvre in Paris despite being advised against it because of how busy it would be. Quote, it was actually fine. You just kind of get used to the fact that, oh, I'm also one of these art pieces you're going to take a picture of. 
I just gotta be totally cool with it and just live my life. The Dune actress also told the magazines that she is looking forward to supporting her man as he returns to perform on London's West End stage in Romeo and Juliet, saying she quote, could not be more proud. I'm going to try and see as many shows as I possibly can.